Yeah, bitch, indeed. Breaking Bad finally got its first ever Emmy Award nomination for casting this year, despite the show being an Emmy staple, and despite nearly every single actor getting nominated over the show's five-year run. About time. It would seem Breaking Bad would be a lock for the casting win in its swan song year, given that the TV landscape was forever changed by people who had faith that the dad from Malcolm in the Middle could become the most badass pantsless meth dealer of all time. But Breaking Bad also is at something of a disadvantage this year, as it is going up against the 800-pound gorilla that is HBO's True Detective, which had the luxury of luring big, sparkly named movie stars with the promise of only a one-year commitment. Read, Breaking Bad wins big at the TCA Awards. But while True Detective went after those blockbuster names, Breaking Bad was actually, for the entire run of the series, dead set against them. In fact, Breaking Bad had to turn down scores of name actors actors like Philip Seymour Hoffman and Michael Cera, all in the name of keeping the show as real as possible. We just chatted with Breaking Bad's Emmy-nominated casting directors, Sharon Bialy and Sherry Thomas, who also are behind impressive shows like The Walking Dead, Gotham, Under the Dome and Better Call Saul, about some fascinating Breaking Bad casting factoids never yet heard, their Apples and Oranges Emmy competition, what we can expect from Gotham and Better Call Saul, and of course, because we are professional journalists what it was like bringing the dirty hotness that is Norman Reedus to the TV world. Which is clearly the most important question of all. Oh, and guess who almost played Creepy Todd on Breaking Bad? Read on.